conflict between two people who care about each other is inevitable. And not all conflict is bad. How we handle a conflict, however, is what makes all the difference. Here, we have a couple having an argument. Jennifer is clearly upset with something that Omar has said or done. Omar is listening and here's Jennifer, which is good. He's not trying to ignore or interrupt her, but he seems to ask for forgiveness without sincerely addressing the issue or, or her feelings. Jennifer rejects his attempts to touch her. She either doesn't feel sufficiently heard or she is too upset and feels like his attempts at touching her while she is talking is belittling her emotions and her argument's position. Once his advance is rejected, he becomes disconnected. He moves away from her and starts to become defensive. He escalates the argument as he becomes more animated. Now what he says adds to the list of things she can be mad about. Now he's upset, which started with the rejection of closeness and her reaction to his defensiveness. He feels like she is always mad about something and when she gets like this, he just walks away, second guessing the whole relationship. And this is how he handles conflict. This is not a good way to end an argument. Nothing was resolved and now they are both angry. One hour later. Omar needed some alone time to process. Jennifer gave him some time, but then she sits right next to him using close proximity rather than touch to say that for her, the relationship is not threatened. She remains silent, waiting for him to be ready to continue the conversation. He allows her to be close to him until he's ready to talk, which you could indicate by touching her. Burrito hold. Here, we have Jennifer and Omar again in a similar argument. Omar acknowledges and validates Jennifer's position and feelings, whether he agrees with her or not. They are taking care not to interrupt or talk over each other. They keep the discussion on topic, not letting it veer into personal attacks or overgeneralizations. He will move to give her a hug in the middle of the argument to say with body language that for him, this conflict is a serious and worthy discussion that does not threaten the relationship. Jennifer allowing a hug, but keeping her arms folded demonstrates that she's still angry, but this does not threaten the relationship for her either. This is what we call the burrito hole. They still need to resolve the issue, but more importantly, their relationship is secure. It's difficult to argue in the burrito hole, but if you still need to argue, you can do it while holding both hands lovingly. The key to this methodology is to use touch or close proximity to communicate through the body a different conversation, one that is reassuring, even while the words and tone of voice may be angry. Doing this during arguments can be an extremely powerful way to resolve conflict. It may feel awkward at first and go against every fiber of your being to communicate connectedness while in a heated argument or while not liking your partner at the moment. But with practice, it'll become second nature. Then when you notice it not being done, there will be cause for concern and something to address within the relationship. If you found this free lesson helpful, please forward the link to your friends who may also benefit from this lesson. Also, check out our blog and website and stay tuned for the full course and other offerings from Down to the Touch, LLC.